Hey Keys Mods fans, this is David Fine and today we are in my backyard once again and my goal is literally to try to get as many species of butterflies and moths documented right from my backyard as possible. Today we're going to focus on a little guy. It's the mallow scrub hair streak. We are going to go literally in the grass or what's left of my grass and we are going to look for caterpillars of this butterfly. So. Guys, we're gonna go look for them. We're gonna look for eggs. We're gonna look for caterpillars. We're gonna video some adults, maybe even some adult female butterflies laying eggs. So guys, uh, if you wanna check out how to find super cool little tiny butterflies about that big in your backyard, uh, give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell for notifications because we're cranking out new videos all the time and we want to show you all of the little hidden wonders that we have in our backyards in South Florida. So check this out, guys. We're gonna go look for some hair streak butterflies and their caterpillars. All right, guys, literally as I'm filming my intro, I'm looking at right over here on these little tiny flowers, some mallow scrub hair streak butterflies. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring you over and I'm gonna try and show you some of them. So I'm gonna stop right now. I'm gonna flip over. I'm gonna show you some hair streak butterflies. All right, so as you can see, my grass is in need of some sprinklers, but what I'm going to show you is on these little, on these little flowers are hair streak butterflies. And I always love whenever you're looking for hair streaks, you're basically just looking for little tiny triangles. Oh, he just flew. All right, so they are so super fast, guys. And here's another one. This guy's a little bit more cooperative. Guys, this is the mallow scrub hair streak. Strymon Istapa. And this is actually, I believe, is a male. And he's just chilling here looking for, now actually that's a female very freshly emerged female. And uh, hair streaks, guys, when they land, hair streaks land upside down because on the hind wing, they've got a false head. You can see the little orange spot there. Let's see if I can get a little closer. You see the little orange spot. That is a fake eye. And the tails on the hind wing look like antennae. And the reason for that is a predator, when a predator strikes like a bird or a lizard or something like that, it's gonna strike for the head to try and go for a quick kill. But these guys have a fake head. So if a bird or a lizard were to try to strike this guy, it's gonna hit this back wing. And a lot of times what you'll find, you'll find hair streaks with a big chunk out of their hind wing. And they, that happens because the predator tries to eat the head, winds up only having a chunk of wing in its mouth. The butterfly flies away unharmed. So this is, this hair streak right here is super, super, let me see if I can even st sturdy this. Wow. All right, so now what they do, well, he just flew. Okay. So you get the idea, guys. Hair streaks are cool. Now, they're eating these little composites. They're nectaring on these little composites that are coming up out of the grass. And now, oh, here's another nectar source. There's actually two hair streaks on this one little clump. This, this little flower cluster right here, these are, these hair streaks are all over right now. Sorry, there's a wind chime like right here. So if it starts to chime, um, this is sweet almond and hair streaks absolutely love sweet almond bush. And you can see how this guy's twitching that, those hind wings up and down. Sorry guys for this. the hair streak is twitching his little hind wings up and down, trying to draw attention to those fake eye spots, guys. 
and that is their defense mechanism. These guys, both of these are males and they're fairly worn. They've got some miles on them. And this guy's, this guy here is just chilling. He's probably not looking for, let's see. This one on the end here, guys, he's not nectaring. He's just on a perch overlooking the grassy area, probably just looking for a female. Let me see if I can, oh, he flew. Okay, well, you get the idea, guys. Nectar sources, I always love to have nectar sources. This sweet, sweet almond bush is a great nectar source. Doesn't have a whole lot of flowers on it right now, but uh, you can see any of these little tiny white, anything with little tiny white flowers, a lot of times are really good nectar sources for hair streaks. In fact, here's another little lysenid. This is a Cassius blue on the same composite. Little tiny butterfly. Guys, these are less than an inch wingspan. Leptotes Cassius, Cassius blue. But that's not what we're here for. We are here for these hair streaks and they are enthralled with these flowers. Well, in the backyard, we can find some pretty cool stuff just on little weeds. There's this little weed here. And if it's allowed to grow up without mowing, it can get Lots of hair streaks. Like these are columella hair streaks. Is that a female? That might be a female right there. Let's see if I can get that to go in focus. There he is. That's a female columella hair streak right there. And she is enthralled with the nectar of this. Uh, this little weed here. And there's another one up here. It's not quite as fresh. That's a male. They've got a gray inside. Actually, they're both males. No, that's a female. I wonder if I can get her to lay eggs. Guys, we are not here to just look at hair streaks, nectaring. We are actually going to now start hunting for their caterpillars and so what we're gonna do is we're going to go on a little hunt literally I'm just gonna turn my focus away from the butterflies and start searching in the ground and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the host plant so guys this plant right here is a plant a mallow flower in the group mallow group and the genus is Ceta. And this little plant, there's, it comes in a number of different families uh, or species that are here in South Florida. And what the mallow scrub hair streak does is the adults will lay eggs, the females will lay eggs on the developing flower buds and the caterpillars will eat the flowers. And so they'll actually burrow into the flower and they'll start eating the insides of the buds and a lot of times what you'll find like up here in the little buds here that haven't bloomed yet or blossomed yet you'll find little holes up there where the caterpillars have dug dug in so we're going to start looking for them but guys we're, this is we're thinking really really small right now because this the immature stages of this butterfly are unbelievably small it's in fact with my 43 year old eyes it can be a challenge. So we are gonna start looking for hair streak. Now, on this plant, I don't know if you see it, there's a little crab spider. See him crawling right there? He's a lot better at looking for hair streak caterpillars than I am. So we, are in, we have a lot of competition right now. In fact, I just found an egg, guys. There is it looks like a hatched hair streak egg right on this bud, on the base of the bud. There is a hatched 
Let me see. There is a hatched egg right there, guys. You can see the egg that's hatched. Look how tiny it is. Those are my big fat man fingers right there. And that little tiny dot right there on the base of this bud right here is, an, is a hatched egg. That's just a shell. So we gotta try and find some full eggs and then we gotta try and find some caterpillars. So it's a tough, it's a tough gig. I mean, it really, see, here's some evidence. Let's see, where are we? This little blossom right here, this little bud, has got little tiny holes in it. And what, what happens is when the hair street caterpillar hatches from its egg, the young larvae will burrow into the developing buds of the host plant. And that's where they'll eat. And so that's where this guy is. And a lot of times you'll find old buds like this with holes in them. And that's where the caterpillar has literally eaten out the inside of the bud and has crawled off and now pupated or is somewhere else. So, all right, guys, we're going to try and see if we can find a caterpillar or two and show you the life cycle of this cool little backyard bug here. All right, guys, I found another hatched egg. Let's see if I can show it to you. You can see the little egg shell there next to the bud. So that little caterpillar has hatched and has crawled into the bud of this plant. Now that's a tiny, tiny caterpillar and it's not worth really looking to find a first or second instar caterpillar. Uh, I'm gonna hunt for something a little bit larger and it'll be easier to show on video because there's no way I'm gonna be able to do justice and show you guys a little tiny first instar guy. Let's see, where are you? There's ants all over the place. I don't know how, I don't know how on earth these guys ever make it without all the predators that are around trying to eat them. Let's see if I can find our hair streak. Well, there's not a hair streak, but there's a white peacock butterfly flying around there. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find in the backyard. All right, guys. Oh, dude, you've got some miles on you, Mr. Peacock. Yeah, you've got some miles on. He's a tiny one. Super tiny white peacock. All right. All right, guys, there's a lot of leaf damage right here. I'm wondering if, oh, guys, look, 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 look. It's a little hair streak caterpillar right here, guys. Comment down below if you see the caterpillar. He's trying to hide. Let me bend this a little bit. He is trying to hide. Look at the hair streak caterpillar, guys. He's a probably fourth instar. He is desperately trying to hide. But, oh my gosh, it's so hard to focus with the phone camera. There he is, guys. Little slug. Little slug looking caterpillar. And he's crawling down. He's trying to he's trying to get away from us. He's trying to hide. And uh, I'm just super excited that we found one. So nice. Well, I'm gonna show you guys the life cycle here in a minute, but let's keep looking, see if we can find more. Man, I'll tell you what, these guys are not easy to find. Not easy at all. They, they're so camouflaged with their, oh, there's a, here's another type of larva. This is some kind of moth caterpillar here, guys. Let's see. There's a moth larva on the Ceta. I have no idea what that is. And at Keys Maws, when we find caterpillars and we have no idea what they are, we take them, oops, we take them inside and raise them and find out 
what they become. Guys, that is a moth caterpillar. It's probably some kind of noctuid. And we are gonna find out what kind of moth this is and document the life cycle of that too. All right, guys, check it out. Look what I just found. Hold on, let me pick this stem so it'll be easier for you guys to see. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, I just found all right, guys, full grown Strymon Istapa caterpillar. Guys, they look like a little green slug. And it was feeding on this bud of the Ceta. And there you see it, guys. That's as big as they get. Like, he might get, a, he might have another day before he goes to pupate. And how cool is that? That I was able to find him right there on this little plant. And guys, they, they just eat these little buds and they they burrow into, a, they'll burrow into a little bud like this and they'll just start chewing away. And you can see how camouflaged this larva is with the rest of the plant. Very, very difficult to find. Uh, I To be honest with you guys, I've been looking for a good 20 minutes. Uh, I haven't been filming this whole time, obviously, but just found one. So I'm super excited that we actually finally found a caterpillar of the mallow scrub hair streak. And we're gonna raise them through and show you the pupa and the rest of the life cycle. So guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we would appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, hit the bell for notifications. So when we go and look for new adventures and new things, uh, and put a videos out on them. You won't miss it when we publish our videos. So guys, take care and uh, enjoy South Florida. Bye now.